Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in this video, we'll try to solve lead code problem 1389. So the problem is to create target array in the given order. So the order is basically, we have been given two array of integer which are called nums and index. Yep, you can see here in the function, nums and index. So the task is to create a target array. So we need to return an output array which would be formed using this nums value. So you can see here in the example, the nums index, the num array and index array, they have equal number of elements in it. So you have to return an output array. So what it has to do is you have to get that index at zero and at index at zero position, you have to put this value, the nums at zero. And then when you are at one, you have to put nums at one. And then when you are at two, so in, in, so output at two. So you have to take index two and then you have to go zero, one, two, and you have to put two. The factor here is when, again, you are given an index at two value. So this time you have to go and find value here. So what would be value? So after this, so zero, one, two, three. So this three, so you have to put this three at index at two. These are, they go like this step by step. So, and next time when it's one, you have to put this fourth value at one. So you see here, they have shown when num was zero, index was zero, target is zero. If it's this, then it's this. So I know this problem is a bit confusing. That's why I've created this thing already, which will make you understand what the question is. So I'll just write this thing here and I'll explain you. So first, what we have to do, we are given an array nums, you can see which have the numbers inside it. So what we want, we want to print it, right? And second step would be we are, we have given an array index, this one, which is in the order we want to use to print nums. So this has an order, which you can see zero, one, two, two, one. We have to take this order and then in this order, we have to print these numbers, right? Like you can say, index nums at index like this thing right you have to print it in this order so what you have to print you have to print nums in what order in index order right this but the problem what's the problem here the problem here it is that see this two is repeating twice so at index two you want this and then next time you want this as well right so that's the problem so so problem is if a place is already filled so when it was two, you already had two here, but next time when it's two, you want to put this three here on the two place. So how can you do that? You can do that using array dot push. So what can you do? So for that, we will use splice method in array JavaScript, which will help us to splice it. And what splice does it, it automatically push the value and replace the new value instead of that value. So you see, I've already written here, we want to put another num of i. So num of i you want to put at the second index again. And at the end, you want to put num at one. So what was num at one would be basically after this, you want to put this fourth value after this, which was already used for this one. So what will happen? It will be zero and then four and then so on. Uh, so what we need to do, so then we need to put that new number, which would be num of i into that used index. And the fifth would be like, you have to push that number a step forward. Like, you know, if you already used it, then they're gonna go a step forward. So this is how you can do it. And I would give an example. So the answer is pretty easy. It's just how to understand and how to do it. The approach that's important to understand. So for example, when i equals zero, right? You can take this one again. Come on, x, come on, b. So when i equals zero, so i is what? i would be our for loop. So we'll have a for loop and we'll have a variable i equals zero. i should be less than, you can do index dot length, same thing, index dot length and i plus plus, right? This is the thing and Obviously to store the result, you will have a variable output, right? Which will be an empty array. So you have this I factor. So basically the thing is what I'm saying when I will be zero index would be zero, right? 
so i is zero index is zero you are at here and then what you want you want to print that index at zero value which would be num this zero so you will put that so output will be zero it makes sense right so when i equals one index would be one this one because we will take index of i so index would be one so when you take nums of i nums of index then when you put this one here this is one as well right so you will get num equals one so your output array would be one and then when you push it or whenever it goes using slide this zero after this one will go so when i equals two index would be two again see zero one two and same goes for one if you put this two here num at two so zero one two two so output is two so you get this zero one two you can see it here but after this what happens so after this they want to so when i equals three right so when i equal three what is index at three so zero one two three index at three is again two so you go and take two you want to put at the second place here so when you try to put at second place so you see zero one two second place there was already two but now you want to put this three at this second place because i equals three right now so when you how can you do that you can do that using push so you will use splice method so when you use splice you will put this three here and this two will automatically be shifted here so you will get this thing here that's what i've explained when i equals three index again is two so nums of i which is basically nums of three which you can see here zero one two three is three but see but at index but it should be at that index right which is two so what will be the output so output is three and you want to put it there so what will happen to your array will change as i said so zero will be here one equals here and it was two but now you want to put that value so this two will go there and three will be here so two is pushed here or you can say sliced so you do this till you go get this answer zero four one three two this one and programmatically how would you do is so you already have a for loop here and i already declared this variable output now what will i do i'll just say okay what i want to do is output dot slice so you'll use the slice method and you will say so in slice the first method uh, the you have three values to put so the first va value which you can put is index of i second value you will put is zero so and third value which you will put is basically the value which you want to put and now ex i'll explain you what is this three things here so yeah so what is this this and this these both first and second uh, number so index at i what is index at i index at i is zero in the beginning this zero and what is this zero this zero means you want to start from here and end it at zero you don't want to splice means you don't want to cut this much numbers so when you use slice you go at that index so what is the index zero so you will go to zero index not more than zero just at zero and you will put this value so you start here you end here and what do you put between that this thing so at zero we'll put num set i what is num set i zero so you do that next time when i equals two you go index at i equals one so you go index at one so one and then zero again so one at one and zero would be what zero one and zero so you don't you just want to get access to this value that's how you use these two things so you get one here and then what you put num set i what is num set i which is one num one it should be one so you put it here so on how i explained here and then what do you do in the end you just return output easy that's it yeah most because i have to put this comment so it won't run same goes here okay if i run it again then this should work no it didn't work why it didn't work because i have to do output dot splice so the method is splice it's a mistake so you have to do output dot splice if you slice is not a method so you, you have to do output dot splice so dot splice that this thing and you get output dot splice index at i it will cut and it will push this number there 
and if you run then it should work yeah and we can submit the solution as well well i think it's testing a lot of use cases i've written so much comments here maybe that's why i think problem person what's wrong i think let me just delete all these things it's because of this thing yes yes it was because of that now it's just gonna work see so i got a runtime this which is a really good solution and we've got a good memory usage so i hope you understood the solution you can go back and take the screenshot of how i explained you this is a bit hard question but hope you understand how i explained it and if you like how i teach and the, please subscribe my channel and like my videos share my videos to your friend who wants to start learning lead code and keep visiting my channel thank you